Okay, the last one is kind of ambitious, uh, especially if you want to solve it in five minutes. Sine of uh, 3x to the uh, hundredth derivative. Okay, if you put a parenthesis with a the number there, that means it's a, it's a, a derivative. Okay, so uh, if you say f of x to the 100 like this, or, or maybe sometimes people put 100 like that with a parenthesis, that means you're differentiating 100 times. Okay. That's because, I mean, if you use this notation, and you don't want to be doing 100 times, so you need this shortcut. Okay. All right, so um, how would you differentiate this 100 times? Well, uh, what, what, what's that, what's that uh, com common phrase? Uh, 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 Walk of thousand miles begins with one step. Is that right? Something like that. Okay. So that's beautiful. All right. So, all right. So you you differentiate once, and you get negative three cosine three x. Right? Uh, because sine no pi sine. Right? Sine differentiates to cosine three comes out. Okay. And then three cosine of three x prime gives you negative 9 sine 3x. Right? And the trick is really, instead of putting 9 there, you want to put 3 squared. Because you're going to do this 100 times, and you don't want to be calculating all the whole time. Yes? What would be the purpose of deriving this 100 times? Oh, just to, to you, you know, uh, math is about finding patterns. And it's a good exercise to find patterns. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, the human beings were successful with mathematics because we were so good at finding patterns. Okay. Finding, for example, if you're, if you're uh, farming, you need to know the pattern of the, the weather or else you, you're going to start to death. Okay. Yes, you have... So if so you put it as uh, negative 3 squared instead of 9, if you do negative 3 squared, it's just positive 9 instead of negative 9. No, no, negative 3 squared is not the same as negative 3 squared. Okay, it's not positive. Okay, all right. Um, so this is three squared and multiplying by negative. All right, then then negative three squared sine three x prime is three comes out and you get three cubed cosine three x. Differentiate again and you get three the three. You get negative. 3 to the 4th power, actually this time it's positive, sine, sine 3x, okay? Now, do you see a pattern here? Uh, it, just look at the signs only. Sine, you have sine, cosine, negative sine, cos, negative cosine, sine, right? Sine differentiates to cosine, cosine differentiates to negative sine. <coughs> Negative sine differentiates to negative <coughs> cosine. Negative cosine comes back to sine. So if you differentiate four, this is the fourth derivative, right? If you differentiate four times, you come back to the sine. Is that right? Every fourth time, you'll come back to the sine. So that's one important observation. So, so every fourth derivative, you get positive sine. Now, how about this 3? This is 3 to the first, 3 to the second, 3 to the third, 3 to the fourth. It's 3 to some power, right? And that power is how many times you differentiate it. This is the fourth derivative. That's the third, second, <coughs> first, right? So now you found the pattern, right? What is the pattern? So th what would be the answer to this? 3 to the hundredth. 3 to the hundredth. Uh, sine. Why is it sine? Because every four times, every four times, and hundred is four times twenty-five, right? So it's a multiple of four. So you would come back to the sign. So that would be the answer. Now, another interesting thing that you can ask is, what if you, you you're asking sine three x to the ninety-ninth power? Ninety-nine. What would that be? Cosine. It'd be right before sine. What is that? Negative cosine. So what would that be? Negative three to the ninety-nine cosine three x. Thank you.